Howdy folks, thank you for tuning in. And today I'm going to show you how to connect a visual finder scope to the Celestron Astro Master. And in this case it's the 130 but it's pretty much the same as the 114. And as you can see it has a red dot finder on the OTA. And some people like them, some people prefer a visual finder scope. And the finder scope I'm going to change to is this one. This is a Skywatcher 9x50 angle scope. And so first of all you have to remove the red dot finder. So you unscrew the finder itself, slide that off, you're left with the bracket here, two screws there and there which I've already taken off and it slides out and that's it. So now you're ready to put on the 9x50 finder scope. So you get it in place and there's no way to put it. So what do you need? Here we have a hot shoe connection as, as you get on st as standard with many Skywatcher scopes and it's quite a simple fix to put it onto this tube and what I did, I got some masking tape just to hold it in position like that and next I took it off the tripod for two reasons one, placing it on the floor just the OTA only, no tripod it's, it holds everything steady because you're about to use a drill and secondly, it's best flat laid flat on the floor because obviously this scope is at an angle and so if you drop anything down the tube it's going to hit the mirror at the other end and uh, with disastrous consequences. And so there, before you drill the hole you might also want to cover the secondary mirror just in case anything should drop through and, and hit that. You know, either a microfiber cloth uh, held on by the rubber band or, or even a, a baby's sock. So before you use the drill make sure that the drill bit itself is not so long that it will touch the secondary mirror because that would be bad news. And So with it held in place like this you can then drill a first hole and with this adapter you should get a, a little a couple of screws and a, and a bolt and it's very very advantageous to have long fingers believe me because when you put the screw in there then you've got to put your hand in there to hold the nut in place you know having long fingers believe me helps and so with that first screw in you can then repeat the process and drill another hole and put the second screw in and then with the that screwed nicely in place, imagine, imagine that it's screwed nicely in place you can then attach your vidoscope like so and there you have it that is a Celestron Astro Master now with a 9x50 visual finder scope so by all means if you think I've missed anything, you think I've done it wrong, I've done it right you can think of another way, a better way of doing this then please let us all know about this in the comments below. So as always, I hope that helps. Thank you very much for watching and please check out the links in the description below.